How's it going everybody? It's good to be with you again. It's Richard. I'm back here. Good to see you again. And today we're going to be taking a look at a rebuildable dripping atomizer. If you find that to be a mouthful like I do, you can simply call it an RDA or a dripper. Doesn't matter. Whatever rocks your boat. Okay, so an RDA that's fit for any clout competition. Cloud chasers out there, I think you're gonna like this. Okay, especially so if you like chasing clouds and also wanting some flavor in your vape, well, this is it. Plumes and plumes of clouds, flavor, ease of build because it comes with a velocity style deck, very deep juice well, and trust me, this is about the deepest juice well I've ever come across on an RDA. <laughs> so this is it guys, the Troll V2 RDA by Wotofo. When I first got it, I opened it up, I took off the barrel and I saw in there and I thought to myself, this is every bit your standard looking 22mm diameter RDA. So what's the big deal about it? <laughs> but I tell you, this thing can perform. I know, you know, a cloud chasing pro or anything like that, but whatever I'm dishing out, I am impressed. And the flavor is just awesome. I want to take a vape of it and just show you, all right? Oh man, <laughs> to me, that's a lot of vapor and the flavor, mm, it's just awesome. You know, like I said, this thing comes with a velocity style deck with dual posts, side screws, and that's about it. Triple O-rings at the base there, you know, to keep it nicely sealed. I think it's done intentionally so that condensation doesn't leak out. Right? So it's a little bit tight, in fact, too tight for my liking, but you're not going to be taken off the barrel. If you want to drip, all you got to do is just pull off the top section where you have the airflow slots and then you drip it in there and you just slot it back. Make sure your airflow, you know, is nicely aligned. The juice well is to die for. It is deep. One of the deepest I've ever come across. It's 10 to 11 millimeters in depth. I measured it myself. <laughs> Man, you will love this. Like I say, if you're into cloud chasing, you don't have to be dripping all the time. And it comes with two sets of airflow slots, airflow control options. Um, they've got diagonal air slots in there and also the horizontal air slots. Either one of it is for flavor and the other one is for chasing clouds. Comes with your standard 510 drip tip and also on top of that in the box you'll get a 13 millimeter Delrin, which is this black one here, whiteboard drip tip for you to chase clouds. Gold plated 510 pin for better conductivity, of course. And right now, what we're going to do is get into the close ups and meet the troll himself, see you know what it's all about. Come back, we'll vape some more, and I'm going to leave you with my thoughts. Catch you later. The troll RDA by Watofo and the box that it comes in very nice, attractive colors to it. I've got to say, Watofo is definitely improving with their packaging, and that's the uh, troll face there, smiling from year to year. <laughs> and that's one thing that's really I find very attractive with the RDA is, of course, the uh, caricature here of the troll himself. I've got the stainless steel version, which is marked over here, and of course, you have barcode, the troll warning notes and also labels you've got your scratch and check authenticity to make sure you've got an authentic product comes plastic shrink wrap so once you've broken that up you can remove the cover and you have the device seated in there it's all that comes with a white ball drip tip this is 13 millimeters in diameter and it comes with two o-rings it, it comes with some comp wires complimentary for you Three packets of it. I'm just going to open them up and see if they're actually comp wires because sometimes they're not. Like for example this one. It says comp wire but it's Japanese cotton in there and we're going to check out the others as well. Might as well open up all the other packets. Yes, I think this one comes with yeah some twisted coils here that you have. So I'm going to put that inside as well. Just throw it into the box first. And this one has got all the spares in there. So you've got just a dual coil and of course lots of O-rings in there. And probably some grub screws as well. 
yep some spare grub screws better put them back before I lose them just I'm gonna dump it in the box and come to it later you know all the uh, spare o-rings that you need in case you need to replace your o-rings there's one tiny little one is as well which is used for your 510 pin and this screwdriver let's get to the device itself this is the uh, troll RDA and there you can see the uh, face engraved on the barrel itself very cute very nice and that's your airflow slot there that's the diagonal airflow slot you've got two options you can either use the uh, diagonal or you can turn the top and move it to the horizontal air slots there so two options for flavor and also vapor as well and one on each side underneath you've got your gold plated 510 pin and laser edged it says the troll v2 or tofu and on the top you have your drip tip so this drip tip actually comes with the device itself this is your standard 510 drip tip so if you want to change out to your standard drip tip you can just take any of the uh, drip tip and you can fit it in and this is changeable with your personal drip tip I'm gonna get an atomizer stand to open up the barrel itself I'm gonna put that drip tip aside and pull this open which can be a bit tight you see it's very very tight fitting and you have three o-rings on the deck itself please excuse my coils there let's get to the uh, barrel first okay so here you have another top cap here where you can remove and those are your air slots your diagonal air slots and your horizontal air slots held on by an o-ring on top here basically just that and you have your drip tip adapter right here two o-rings and you can change it out to your whiteboard drip tip here just push it in and this is for cloud chasing so it's up to you which option you'd like to use this is for flavor I presume and this is for cloud chasing so just line them up like that and it's adjustable so that's your top cap for you together with the barrel and here's your deck here for you right at the bottom that's your positive on the left and that's your peak insulator at the bottom there as you can see you have your velocity style posts and these post holes are 2.7 millimeters in diameter they're really huge no problem with clapped and wires going through them and held on by those grub screws there using the L and T and you've got three o-rings at the bottom here to keep it nice and tight the depth of the um, juice well is really really deep this is 10 millimeters in depth it's super deep very very standard RDA for you and once you put your cap in there I've greased it up with uh, Vaseline so it's easier so once you put that in you're not going to be adjusting this barrel here I suggest you just turn it and line it right in front of your coil there and once you've got it lined up you're going to just leave the barrel there and just line this up and if you're using the shaft cap you can actually drip direct as you can see it's 13 millimeters in diameter it's really huge no need to take out you know the uh, top cap to drip you can just drip direct into it otherwise you can just take it out drip it in there and put this back and make sure you line up the air holes together okay so that's the uh, troll RDA for you by Watofo we'll go back top side we'll talk some more because I don't do e-juice uh, reviews very often if not none what I'm gonna do right now is incorporate whatever I'm vaping on because I got you know people asking me what's my favorite juice what am I vaping on and things like that so I will tell you what I'm vaping on right now which is a juice that's locally brewed in Malaysia by one of our Malaysian brewers this is called nasty juice it's very very yummy for me at least it's called bad blood um, most of the juices are actually not named you know or, or they don't put the uh, flavor description down but I do know one of it is mango this is fruity and the other one probably is a bit of a nutty flavor 
it comes in packaging like that. This came to me from Vape Boss. I think they're based in Sri Hartamas. Uh, Nicholas Ling. Thank you so much, brother, for sending this my way. <laughs> I know I've been holding up to it for so long. I've never had a chance to re uh, review the juice. So this is what I'm vaping on, guys. And uh, it's a 40 ml bottle, so you get an extra 10. Normally, it comes in 30 ml bottles, and I think it's retailing probably 40, 50 ringgit somewhere around there. Don't quote me, but you know our local juices. That's around the price range that we get here, and it's a very, very well designed uh, what they call bottle, and also the package as well. It's got all the information in there you need: 50, 50 PGVG, and then you've got your nicotine level in there, 6 mg and 40 ml everything else info uh, you know warning labels and things like that and it's got a childproof cap so this is nice I'm vaping on it let's go for a vape right now let me just take one more vape before we start the pros and cons man like I said this thing can really chuck I mean <laughs> I'm no pro but I'm happy with what I'm seeing um and very yummy too vapor and flavor that's awesome i mean it's probably to do with the uh, afc options that you have in there the diagonal slots and also the horizontal slots and i think the diagonal slots are is for you know chasing flavor because you have those diagonal slots there and it goes in through the diagonal slots and slowly work its way around along the walls of the barrel and then up to the drip tip to give you all the nice flavor Horizontal, where it goes in straight, hit your coil and straight up to the drip tip. That's for cloud chasing. Well, at least that's what I think. Okay? So you've got two options with the AFC there. And then you've got a deep juice well. That's one centimeters in depth, 10 millimeters, 10 to 11, somewhere around there. And I love it. I don't have to be dripping so much. Okay? Just drip it quite a bit and then I can keep vaping on it. It's a breeze to build on because of the Velocity style deck and with those big, huge, ginormous post holes in there at 2.7 millimeters. I mean, what kind of wires do you want to put in there? <laughs> Even your paper clip can go through no problem. Your screwdriver, no issues at all. So like I said, cloud chasers out there or people who likes to build. If you like building one of those ginormous sized coils in there, your wires shouldn't have a problem going through them. And you have those nice grub screws in there to tighten down your wires. And also the fact that they've got three O-rings there, that could have been a con to me. But I think that was done intentionally and I think it's pretty clever of them, or rather Watofo, to put three O-rings so that it seals up the bottom section and you don't get any condensation leaking out from the bottom. Okay, So it's a little bit tight. And what I did was, after I cleaned up the whole thing, the, the uh, RDA, I used some Vaseline and line it along those o-rings and then i could push it down because otherwise it can be quite hard and you're like pressing it against the o-ring so it gets squished up and things like that it's quite annoying all right but if you use some vaseline or you know e-juice and just line it and then screw it down you wouldn't want to be removing the barrel all the time in fact you do it once and you're going to leave it there line up the air hole in front of your coils and that's it then when you want to drip if you're using the whiteboard drip tip like mine, you can drip directly into it. Oh, old habits die hard. I pull out the top cap and I drip it in and then I put it back again and make sure that, you know, your air holes are aligned properly in that big window there. So that's it for the, uh, what do you call, RDA, the Troll version 2. Price-wise, I did a quick Google search and I saw Vapor DNA is retailing this in the US for about $29.99 US dollars. Okay. Uh, they always have discounts, so that's the price they're uh, retailing it right now, $30 US dollars. And probably you could get less, or I don't know. Malaysia, we've never had the Troll RDA, not even the original version come into Malaysia. I don't think we've ever had it come to Malaysia. So this is the second one, the version two, hopefully somebody's going to bring it in. And this is an awesome, awesome RDA, especially for those of you who like cloud chasing, you like building, you want to have flavor with your vape. <laughs> Look no further, okay? <laughs> I was speechless for a while there. Anyway, I'm going to take one more vape and I will call it a wrap.
Man, this thing is awesome. <laughs> thank you, Watofu, for sending this my way for the purpose of this review. Until the next one, guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Have a nice day. Stay healthy and God bless.